Hey guys, it's Matt, the EMF Minimalist. You may have noticed my channel name changed recently, so hopefully it's a little more clear what this channel is all about. Uh, my channel is almost six years old and I felt like it was definitely time for a fresh coat of paint. So anyway, today is the first day of December 2016 and I'm really excited to begin one of those 30-day challenges where my plan, at least, is to post a new video every day for the next month, which I guess means I'm actually going to post 31 videos through New Year's Eve. My hope is that by making lots of quick videos like this one, I can focus on one issue, tip, or product at a time, and really just try to keep things simple. So today is a pretty easy one. One of the worst EMF offenders in homes and offices, schools, and many public places uh, is the compact fluorescent lamp, or CFL, which was designed to save energy by replacing the common incandescent bulb, but they end up making pretty horrible light and also something called dirty electricity. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about dirty electricity later this month, but for now, here's what you should do. Go around your home and find every CFL bulb and put them all into a Ziploc bag like this. Uh, you can take them to a place that recycles CFLs or just put them in a safe place for now. Remember, CFLs contain mercury, and if they break, you must take great care in cleaning up the hazardous mess that they create. Anywhere you had a CFL, just replace it with a low wattage, incandescent, or halogen bulb. I find 40 watts is often plenty in most situations, but if you do have any downward-facing can fixtures, I would suggest uh, parabolic aluminized reflector or PAR bulbs to reflect the light where you want it so you can save energy. If you have any of those fluorescent tube lights that are often used under kitchen cabinets, it's not hard to have them replaced with a cleaner option like an LED strip. For the most part, LEDs are okay, but many also create dirty electricity and the light can be harsh on the eyes as well. The number one thing to look for if you're buying new bulbs is to get ones that have a warm temperature of 2700 Kelvin or less. The higher the Kelvin rating, the more the light mimics midday daylight, uh, and the lower the number, the warmer uh, the light is, and the more it replicates what you would receive from a sunset. So by having a low Kelvin bulb, you will actually sleep better at night and produce more melatonin, which will then keep you healthier during the day. If you absolutely require daylight spectrum bulbs, be sure to only use them in the morning or in the middle of the day, but not in the evening. Even better for the bedroom or bathroom where you may need a light in the middle of the night are amber bulbs which produce an orange light that will tell your body it's time to go to sleep. So that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.